Good morning and welcome back to AM Break here in the Leon County Courthouse on the fifth floor with beautiful Leon County behind us. And joining me now is... Sally Davis. And what do you do, Sally Davis? I am the Community Engagement and Organizational Development Supervisor for Leon County EMS. All right, so let's talk about the event. What's it called and why is it so important? This is the 8th Annual Press the Chest event. And bottom line, we want to increase survival from sudden cardiac arrest. Right. That's, it, that's the bottom line. And one way of doing that, and one of the most important ways of doing that, is bystander CPR. Okay. And so if somebody wanted to, well, we'll get to the event in just one second, but if somebody wanted to take a CPR class, how long does that take? How many hours? How, how much of a commitment is it for the class? Well, our particular goals are are not a certification class sure. that would maybe last four hours or more. Mm -hmm. We tailor it to whatever the community needs. Um, our goal is to get give you the skills, the knowledge, and the confidence to react. Great. So we could go in there and just do a class for like an hour. Right. And we're confident at the end of it that you're going to leave with confidence and knowing what to do and hopefully you will react if god forbid something should happen right and most likely you just need to do this particular cpr effort until professionals get there correct because we, we find still it's increasing and it's increasing greatly in our county but we still find so many people not reacting right. whether they're afraid to react whether they're afraid to do mouth to mouth whether they're afraid legally or whether they just feel like they don't know what to do Right. They're still not reacting. So this event is to get the word out, get you comfortable, come in, join us, have fun with us, and learn. But what we're trying to teach you is do something. Right. So do hands-only CPR if you need to. Sure. Because once the person drops from a cardiac, cardiac arrest, right. There's the blood, the oxygen, oxygenated blood is there, but it's not circulating. Right, we we need on. somebody to circulate it so we can do what we can do for the best outcomes. Well, we're going to have you demonstrate in just one second, but first, let's go over the details. There's some new things about this year's mm -hmm. event. So, when and where? Yes, it's at the Donald L. Tucker Civic Center. Mm -hmm. It's on Saturday, June 9th. Right. The main training and event is from 10 to noon. Right. But this year, we have brought in this AmeriHeart exhibit. And this is open from 9 until the training starts okay. and once the training ends till 1 p.m. And this is an inflatable heart exhibit. It's about 12 feet tall. Wow, opens up it's and huge. It, yeah, okay. and it shows the circulatory system. It's got lights that shows the circulatory system and the route it goes. It shows awesome. um, heart attack. It shows pacemaker. It shows damage. It shows good heart. It's just a, it, it's really incredible and be a great thing for family and kids. Wonderful. Okay, so you get to have a little extra feature this mm -hmm. year. Okay, yes. well, let, let's get to the detail. Well, the... the okay. I'm showing me how to do this. Yeah. When you come to this event... Everybody gets one of these kits, the okay. CPR Anytime Kit. This okay. is what you use at the event, and then you take this kit home. It's yours to keep. And what we want is that you then teach your family and your friends. Sure. Your, your churches, your organizations. I'll want to get one of these and teach you. Yes. You have a DVD that comes with it. Wonderful. It's okay. Just, it's simple. So this is what you'll be using at the event. You know, you'll come up and make sure the seat is safe. Mm -hmm. You'll make sure that, they're, that they need CPR, you know. Are you there? Are you okay? And then call 911. All right, everybody's got their cell phones. So I'll get going on that right away. Sure. Get an, an AED, a defibrillator if there's one around. Right. Okay. And then start CPR. And you just put your hands, you know, your, your heel down of one hand, get your hand on top, lock your fingers, lock your elbows, get into the center of the chest between the nipple line. Right. And then you want to push down a, a, like a one and a half inches. Hear that click? I sure do. Once once you start hearing that click, you know you're going the right depth. Okay. These these help you with the depth. Okay, great. At the event, we'll help you with the rate and the fun. We use um, music. Staying alive music sure, is sure, the sure. tune. Um, we we've also incorporated some more contemporary music because we're oh. each year we get more families, we get young, we get younger sure. children, Which we get great. more of that crowd. So we try to incorporate. Um, the fun music for that and fun for them. All right, awesome. So let's go over the details again, when and where. So Saturday, June 9th, Donald L. Tucker Civic Center. 
Um, you can be there as early as 9 to view the Amerihart Amer exhibit. Yeah, sure. That'd be awesome. And then the training starts at 10. All right. And then it goes until about noon? It goes until about noon. So is it just one session or two sessions? It's just one session. Okay. So come on out. And then uh, you can also check out this amazing... Actually, that alone may be a good reason to go, just in case you're a little bit nervous about learning CPR. But yeah, so thank you so much for joining yeah. us. I know for fact Joel's going to be there this weekend right. to, to see this event. And this time you're going to make him learn some CPR. Mm -hmm. And I fully expect him to come back with one of these. I know I'll just use a little while. Okay. All right, thank you so much for being here.